we don't know what causes Alzheimer's disease. We do know that both genetics and environment, specifically the process of aging, put us as individuals at, at major risk for developing Alzheimer's disease. My fundamental goal is to identify therapeutic strategies to delay, prevent, or cure Alzheimer's disease. There are some individuals in the human population that carry causal mutations, but they can live out to 70, 80 years of life and they're exhibiting no symptoms at all. So our hypothesis is that they are harboring protective factors or they're partaking in some type of lifestyle or environmental activities that are protecting their brain. That is resilience. We've studied risk for a long time and it hasn't translated into an effective therapy. So sometimes in science, we just flip the question on its head. Stop focusing on risk, start focusing on resilience, and hopefully the identification of those resilience factors would unmask new therapeutic strategies that no one had ever thought about before. As a scientist, I'm already thinking about how can the work and the strategies that we've used to identify resilience factors for Alzheimer's disease benefit other neurodegenerative diseases. Our resilience factors that are protecting the brain from Alzheimer's disease also protective for people who have Huntington's disease or Parkinson's disease or ALS. If you could identify ways that we can protect neurons against age-related neurodegenerative diseases overall, I mean, that would really be a game changer. And so that's what, that's what my lab is focusing on.